Hello everyone, I'm Eric Schmorse, welcome back. Need for speed. Pursuit. Most wanted, the other one, not hot pursuit. Don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. Blacklist 15, I did go back and, oh, Earl, that's who I'm on. I did go back and clear up all the races. You can see I have like eight race wins, seven race wins for her. Now it's telling me the target. Don't care. Don't need target on them. Also did all the milestones, which was mostly just missing uh, speed traps. Actually, it was all missing speed traps. Oh, excuse me. Just so there's not random speed traps out on the road. So if I happen to go to one, I know it's going to be for Earl. It's not going to be for one of them. Um, I do have to get two more milestones. And I think I need more bounty. I need 60,000 more bounty, so it might be good to go for the cop. The cop chase one. Go for the toll booth, then. Let's, uh, let's force it. Oh, uh, I did also get into a cop chase while I was clearing up the stuff. Uh, it didn't end well. I paid and immediately remembered why the get out of jail free is beneficial it has nothing to do with just the money you also don't get an impound strike for it um so this car has an impound strike uh luckily i can get up to three before it's impounded and i have two free impound strikes that i can use if i need to crossing my fingers that i'll get a new car so i can have a car for races and not have to worry about losing losing it have a car for races, even even can use them for maximum police awareness races. If I oh, fuck! I just noticed, because I didn't use the get out of jail free card, I guess because I was using it before, was that keeping my heat? Because I my heat level's one. It's not three anymore. Is that because I got arrested? Shit. God damn it. But, uh... Yeah, hopefully I'll get another car and then can use this for cop chases so that if this gets impounded in the end, it won't be a huge loss. I mean, obviously it'll suck, but because I pumped a lot of money into this car, but... Or I should just use one of the other cars. I have like 50 million of them that I'm not using because they're not near as good. I have so many cars, I could just pick one of them and be like, hey, here's this, this is my cop chase car. But I've just been using this car for everything. So this will probably be the cop chase car if I get a new car that's better. Uh, like maybe if I get Earl's car, maybe he'll, his car will be better. Is Earl the one with the Lancer? Cause I don't think Baron had the Lancer, did he? I think it said Earl had the Lancer. Because I remember whoever had the Lancer, I was like, I absolutely want that car. Um, and it's still true. But once I get that car, that'll probably be the racing car, and then this'll just be cop chase car. And then if this gets impounded, I'll just make one of the other ones the cop chase car, but... I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about... It's it's all down the road. Dow Bahala? Don't know. Apparently can't say the word road. It's all down the road. Um, it doesn't matter. Also, how long do I have? Oh, two-thirds of the way through the race. I've only... I've, hit, I've just hit the second toll booth. Uh, where are the rest of them? <laughs> okay, there's one at about three quarters. It's the, I feel like there was a huge gap between the first toll booth and the second toll booth. Because I, I got the first toll booth before I even realized it, and then the second one was over halfway through the race. Oh, wait, the last toll booth is the finish line. Never mind. I was thinking there were... I was thinking it's like the speed traps, where there's a bunch of speed traps, and then there's the finish line. I was thinking there were a bunch of toll booths, and then the finish line. The last toll booth is the finish line, so it actually makes sense to have one a quarter of the way through, half the way, three quarters. There are the cops! How's it going? I missed ya! So let's try to... I need to get... Tag a bunch of police. I might not be able to get the roadblocks, because there is one for getting a bunch of roadblocks. I might have to do the tag a bunch of police vehicles and then get a speed trap. 
Because the roadblocks, I need to get back up to heat level 3, which is going to be an issue. So, I'm kind of... That one's going to suck, like, if I have to do that. But if I can tag 12 police vehicles... Jesus Christ. Although it says I only tagged one? I definitely hit two of them. Unless one of them I just slightly nudged. Oh yeah, because like me nudging him didn't count as me tagging them. Also, I just gotta be careful that I don't spin out. Because when I spin out, that's when uh, I end up pressed up against the wall and bad things happen. Granted, I'm at heat level 1 right now. About to go to heat level 2. So it's not a huge deal. It's not a huge deal because they're not going to be as effective at bo uh, boxing me in as the uh, heat level 3 ones. But I would... Definitely say words. I don't. I don't know. I got really distracted. <laughs> um, but I, I still don't want to spin out just for the sheer fact that it's putting me in unnecessary danger of getting arrested. And even with one car, I could still, if I screw up badly enough, I can get taken out with uh. Yeah. I don't know, I'm in like focus mode because I know I've been I've been uh taken out a few times. Like I've been arrested a few times. I don't want to get arrested now. Especially since this car kind of already has an impound strike. I only have I think three get out of jail free cards. I'm not sure about that. Uh and only two extra impound strikes if I need them. But I'd really rather not use them. Oh no! That's not good. It's not good. I need a cop chase. Please. Please, someone. Help. There we go. Although that reset the backup, which is not great. Do that so that he gets... He's at least, uh... Counts as a tag. He's a new car, so he at least counts as a tag. But I really want to keep the pursuit going long enough. Well, uh, definitely going long enough to get the backup here. Possibly going long enough to get third level and possibly get some roadblocks. Although the third level's the dangerous one because that's where. Uh, not sure what he was trying to do, but uh, I. I not entirely sure whether he succeeded or failed at whatever he was trying to do. He, like, went into the wall, and I think he jumped up. I mean, I know that was probably just, like, a physics or a graphical glitch, but it definitely looked like he went up the wall. Alright, less than a minute to back up. That's good, at least. Oh, no. Hi. How's it going? See ya. Less than a minute to back up. Oh, I'm getting close to heat level three. Three more bars, which I don't know how long it takes them to fill, but it's 70% of the way there. So, I mean, apparently I've been going long enough to get it that filled. To get three quarters of the way filled, so. Oh, that's a car. Watch out for traffic. Oh, the heat level's flashing. Heat level's flashing, that's always a good sign. Also, backup's almost here. Which means I can start tagging people, and then just escape. I'm not gonna worry about the roadblocks. Um, if, I, if I get to like, four or five before, like if I do end up getting to that level, where there are a bunch of roadblocks, and then end up getting like, three or four, you know, before I am able to get out of the chase, then I'll just keep going and try to get more. But I'm not too concerned about it. 
Also, I need one more tag. One more tag. And there's apparently nine cops after me, and I definitely didn't tag all of them. And now there's only seven, but they're also going to drop out in favor of the new cops, which... There, trade paint. Well, let's just escape for now. I got up to heat level three. There's a roadblock up here, but let's escape. Yeah. Yeah, let's just escape to be safe. I would much rather escape and then have to do a speed trap than... Oh no, oh no, I had flashbacks. Didn't I get caught here before? Oh no, flashbacks. I'm pretty sure that's where I got caught one of the one of the times while I was recording. I don't know where I got caught in between episodes. Uh, it was it was just like a random road. I just spun out and was up against the side, but I'm pretty sure one of those times was uh, right at that little thing. Did I get anyone from that? I don't think so. I don't think I got a single person. Oh shit! Oh, we got SUVs. We got subs. Uh, that's not a good thing for me. I also didn't realize that that, that was what they were until it was a little too late. So, uh, they kind of... They did a good job of stopping me. Oh, we got one more. He's right behind me. Because the SUVs left. They just, they just ran away. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the roadblocks because I only have one at this point. The thing is, I don't know if I can get those in other police chases. Like, I'm, a, I'm assuming if I don't get it d while I'm on Earl, if I do a police chase later and happen to do six roadblocks, it's still gonna count. Maybe that's why, uh, what was it? There was something like that that happened in the one episode that I was really confused about. That might have been the case where I was doing like a trading paint or a, you know, something like that. I was doing trading paint or something like that. And I was really confused because I got a trading paint and then got another trading paint. Maybe that's, or, or whatever it was. It was something like that. Maybe it was similar to that. Maybe I got a trading paint, but I also got a lower level trading paint one from like an earlier Blacklist Racer. Also, I got plenty of bounty now. I also reset my car into the car wash that I was already in. Effective in some way. Race wins. I need one more milestone. Let's do the milestone because the race, I just need one race. That's not going to be difficult. 149, 136, I, uh, the, let's go to 136 on the highway. That seems like that'll be ridiculously easy. Yep, busted, you have, okay. Alright, I gotta remember, orange flash under the, uh, orange ticking, that's, uh, speed trap. If it turns green, that's when I just, uh, go away. <laughs> Oh, what? I call bullshit on that. What the fuck? What the fuck do you call that? I ran into the wall and got caught on like a pixel. That was some bullshit. I'm not going fast enough. I didn't get enough of a run up there. That was some bull. Shit right there. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. Doesn't matter. We're going for it again. This feels like freaking what I've been doing in Forza Horizon 3 for a while, because I've been doing Forza Horizon 3 as PR stunts, which some of them are speed traps and such, so I've basically just been taking cars, going through these areas, whether it's a speed trap, a speed zone, a drift zone, whatever, and just basically doing this, just driving back and forth through the area, trying to beat the high score or whatever. Pain in the ass. 
This is no exception. This is just as much of a pain in the ass. There we go. Luckily, it was only 136. Thought that one would be way easier. Was not. Alright, let's do a race. There was another toll booth I could do. Or I could do something else just to be interesting. Although, I will have to race him anyway. So, that'll be interesting enough. Are any of these really short? Speed Trap's pretty short. I could do the circuit as well. 6.5 miles, 3 laps. Let's do that one. Let's just do the Speed Trap. The Speed Trap I seem to be... Outside of like when I first started doing the Speed Traps, like the first few ones I did in this playthrough, Outside of those, I've been pretty good with the speed traps. I haven't had any issues with them. Like, the speed traps and the toll booth are the two that I have had no issues with. I thought the drag races would be ones that I had no issue with, but... God damn it! So many times, the drag races, it's just like, Oh, there's tons of traffic, and you... It's super difficult to avoid, especially if you get here first. Still upset about the one last episode. <laughs> that one sucked. God damn it! Don't spin out. You're not gonna get good speed that way! I just did a speed trap and failed miserably at it multiple times. Why did I think I would be able to do a speed trap and a race at the same time? Why did I think that was a good idea? <laughs> oh. That's why I thought it was a good idea, because I passed the second one. Now I'm 55 miles per hour ahead of everyone. <laughs> okay. Alright. I caught up. That one might have screwed up a little bit, although I did get it back. Nope, I'm... I just increased my lead. <laughs> Every time I think, like, oh, I screwed this up, it's like, nope, no, you didn't. You're, you're good. I don't think this was any faster. Gonna be honest. Think that screwed me up more than it helped me. But, uh, mostly because I had to smash through things. If, it, what, if there was no smashing, it might have been fine, but... Um... How many more are there? I see two on the map. Is it just those two? Because I have... I have plenty of lead, like, I'm not going to have an issue staying ahead. And I think even if I finish like this, like, this far behind the first place... Oh, no. Oh, well, never mind. I spun out a little bit. That's gonna fuck it up. I was gonna say, if I finish exactly, like, how far behind I was, uh, it might have been fine. Like, I wouldn't have lost much of my speed like in the penalties uh, it's still it's gonna be close I still have some leeway oh no and I think I just lost all that leeway no nope I did not I did not that I had way too much leeway there <laughs> I had like a hundred miles per hour more than that, and still ended up winning. Like, I lost a hundred miles per hour and nothing. Let's see you hold it down after word goes out be worth a lot of green. See you fight your way out of that. I'm worth money? I'm guessing it's Razor. Number nine doesn't think he can take you. Number nine's ready. He's heard all. Not so sure he can take you. All right. Jump him right away. Earl's unsure. Let's go face him. Let's stop resetting the car. The back button does not does not do what you want it to. Challenge. Let's get his freaking car. Speed trap and a sprint. Nice. A one-on-one -on -one speed trap is going to be interesting. Well, that's me. I know what my car looks like now. I'm not confused by that. 
Yeah, he is the Lancer. I want that car. Also, unlike Bar Baron's car and my car and Razor's car, uh, there's no flames. So, uh, it's actually not stereotypical 2005 car. Or maybe it is. Maybe that whatever design that you call that was like a typical design in 2005. I don't know. I just remember a bunch of flames. They were cool. At the time. Go. Get all the speed. 150. What did he get? Not 150. 140. Still close. Like, that's way closer than any of the other <laughs> speed trap events I've done. Uh, and I'm also ahead of him, which is good. If I can just stay in front of him, or even close to him, then I don't need to be that far ahead of him on speed. If it ends up like last episode, or last episode, last race, uh, I'm gonna need a huge gap. Although I did lengthen my lead, I noticed. What is it, like 25? I don't want to look. Also, every time I do, every time I do actually have a chance and I look, it's, uh, oh, well, I think he closed it a little more. 20. But every time I did look, it just showed our names. It's like, I don't care about our names. I know who we are. There's two of us. One's me. One's him. Our colors are different. You don't need to tell me our names. Just tell me the fucking score. Okay. 26 miles ahead. Miles per hour. Whatever. Oops. Oops. Fuck that up a little bit. He took the shortcut too. He did it a lot more skillfully. And by a lot more skillfully, I mean he didn't crash into a wall. Uh, so really, not not much extra in the way of skill. He just uh, didn't suck. He sucked less. 139. Okay, I have a decent lead. Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna even beat him. To, <laughs> I'm gonna even beat him to just rub it in a little bit. Like, even if I would have finished behind him, I had plenty of leeway, the penalty wouldn't have mattered. Uh, just gonna, just gonna finish first, just to really shove it in his face. This is a sprint, right? This is just a regular, regular sprint race. I have no idea how long it is, because I didn't, wasn't paying attention to, like, the best time. Does it show the distance on his, like, on the blacklist things? I don't remember if it shows the distance. I know it shows, like, the best time, but... I don't know if it showed the distance. Either way... He took that shortcut. I don't know if that's gonna help him. Uh, no, not really. I mean, what will help him is if I keep trying to use the right stick to look back. I'm so used to, you know, every new racing game where the right stick just looks around. I mean, f I'm especially like I've been saying, I'm playing Forza Horizon 3, and that it's basically just, hey, you use the right stick, you look around. Like, that's just, that's, I think, standard in, like, any racing game now. And, uh... It's... I th that's, like, pretty much standard in racing games, and now it's like... Oh, I'm gonna use the right stick to look back. Oh, down on the right stick's brake. I have to use left bumper, but I always forget that. At least now, ten episodes in, I think I finally have down, uh... The fact that B is boost and A is hand, or A is B is boost, A is handbrake, or yeah, A's A's brake, handbrake. Because I'm used, to, I'm still used to X being handbrake, A being boost, and B being something else. <laughs> I don't remember. Um. And, although, to be fair, that was mostly because of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Like, I've been playing Forza Horizon 3, that doesn't have a boost or anything, so... There's no point in me thinking that A would be boost. I blame Need for Speed 
hot pursuit. I blame the Need for Speed series for not staying consistent in their controls. Granted, they made the controls better in the future. But I, I'm still going to blame them for not making them better in the past. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway. I think I'm winning. I mean, I know I'm winning, but I think I'm, I should win. Ooh, he's actually, he's actually coming up, coming up pretty quick. Let's, uh, I made that turn way more skillfully than I ever will ever again. Ooh, ooh, sharp turn, sharp turn, sharp turn. Made it, again, way more skillfully than I ever will in the future. This is like, that was some of the best turning that I I ever do. I think I'm also, maybe it's because I played this game yesterday to get races and stuff. Like, I, I usually record this. I've been typically, well, that sucked. <laughs> Wasn't really paying attention to what's going on, so that kind of screwed me up. Um, like, usually I, you fucker. No! I, tr I, tr I tried to be cheeky. I tried to, like, slam into him and stuff. That screwed me up. Fuck, I think I pulled a me and screwed it up right at the end. Um, that's a bad thing. Um, but, damn it. See, this is when I suck worse. When I'm behind right at the end of a race, like, when it's like, like, I don't work well under pressure in racing games. Like, when I'm behind, that's when I'm way worse. If I'm ahead, if I have a little bit of a lead, perfectly fine. Because I'm actually, like... God damn it! I don't even remember what I was gonna say. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Because I got distracted by the fact that I fucking lost. God damn it. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I was like saying something. I was going to make a point. Oh yeah. I was saying like, I usually record this. Like I've been recording this before Oblivion. Like I'd record this, then record two episodes of Oblivion. Uh, yesterday I didn't record this. I just went through and did all the races just so I can, just so I can grind all those races. Just so I can finally do that, because I've been saying that I was going to do that for I don't know how long, and haven't. Yeah, again, that, that didn't help. I accidentally took it. He didn't take it this time, of course, but yeah, don't see why he took it the first time. It's really not a great, not a great shortcut. Although somehow, through all that, I ended up in front of him. Um, that shortcut might have actually helped. You son of a bitch! You f fucked... He fucked both of us up, but he fucked me up worse. I think. Um... But... Yeah, I, I was like, you know what? I'll actually grind through the races, because I don't want to do what I usually do when I say, like, oh, I gotta... Because a lot, a lot of the time, whenever I need to grind for a game, it happened with Minecraft too, plenty of times, where it's like, oh, I need to grind for a specific reason. Like there's something in the game that I, I need to do between episodes, or not necessarily that I need to do between episodes, but if I dedicate an episode to it, it's like, wow, this is this is absolutely boring. Why, why did I dedicate an entire episode to this? Like if I was just going through and just doing races that ultimately mean nothing, I just get some money for them. It probably wouldn't have been that exciting. I I mean, granted, that was most of Need for, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, I feel like, and people still watch that. I People just like watching me play racing games for some reason. I'm not good, so I don't know why, but <laughs> I feel like racing games would be one of those things that's like, Oh, people watch these when people are, you know, good at them. You know, sort of like, you know, I don't think people would watch 
I think I, I think I mentioned this before. I don't know if I mentioned it in Need for Speed Most Wanted, but it's one of those where it's like, you know, someone plays FIFA or someone plays like uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive, you know, or any of like competitive games. And maybe that's the key, the fact that this isn't really a competitive game, but most of the time you see someone play a game like that, it's like, oh, well, you expect them to be good. Like, you see someone play, play, uh, like a hardcore first-person shooter, you see someone play a MOBA, you see someone play FIFA or Madden, well, Madden sometimes, but you kind of expect them to be good at the game. I figured racing games would fall into that category of, like, you kind of expect the person playing it to actually know what they're doing. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if I'd say that I know what I'm doing most of the time. Like, I'm not terrible at racing games. I'm not good. Like, I've been doing... I was doing a multiplayer in Forza Horizon 1, just for achievements, because I went through Forza... went through Forza Horizon 1 a while ago, and... Ooh, that worked out well for me! That worked out very well for me! Holy shit. Holy shit. But I was going through uh, Forza Horizon 1 a while ago and did all the single-player stuff. I have pretty much all the single-player achievements outside of the... The Thousand Club DLC, which is basically just, hey, buy a car, do a few things in the car. Cool, now get another car, do a few things in the car. Like, I haven't done all those. Um, jump into a win. That is an epic screenshot. Wish I could somehow save that. I mean, like, the actual, like, full-size screenshot, not just that thing and not just in a video like I wish there was a way to like do something with it Eugene James <sighs> we got it oh and good I actually probably will need that in the future knowing my record uh, that also said something about Rockport. Like, was there another area opened? Wouldn't be surprised. Oh! Hey, it's another woman, and she's not, like, stereotypical, like, Oh, look at me, I know cars, I'm a mechanic. Or, or like, not stereotypical, but, like, how I was mentioning when that first happened, where... <sighs> Who was that? Oh, wait, there was only one other female racer. Where... Where it kind of, like, came across as, like... They made her overly, like, into cars. Like, they had to make her a mechanic because, it, you know, it seemed like a stereotypical, like, how else would a, you know, a woman be a racer if, unless she's a mechanic? But now they have another female, so that completely screws up. Attention all units. Due to complaints are being received about a speed. Okay, they're complaining about me. Let's, uh, jump to safe house. But yeah, like, I'm not... Going back to the thing I had before I actually won, uh, I'm not particularly, like, great at racing games. But I guess it's one of those, because it's not competitive, it's not as big a deal if you're not good, as long as you can still, you know, do something with the racing games. Also, I went back to the safe house, not realizing that I was already coming from the safe house, in the hopes that the workshop would be closer to the safe house. Um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't realize that the... Oh, that's the speed trap that's yelling at me before. I didn't realize that the workshop would be so fucking far away. It is the blue one, right? Also, how the fuck do I get there? God damn it. God damn it. What else was it? Oh, yeah, it was meant Forza, Forza Horizon. Like, more more highlighting, like, how I'm not terrible, but not great at racing games. Like, playing Forza Horizon 1 multiplayer, I can win a few races here and there, but usually they're ones where it's like, 
I'm paired up against people that aren't amazing. <laughs> it's like clearly they're not great. And then I get confident, I'm like, oh, well, I'm actually not as bad as I thought. And then I get paired up with someone who clearly played the game way more than me. And it's like, oh, no, there. I'm, I'm very, very middle, middle of the pack when it comes to uh, skill level. Wait, is this the... Is this the car lot? I went to the car lot, God damn it! It's the yellow one. <sighs> but yeah, I guess unless I'm playing multiplayer, like I'm playing more... Can I see the map? Isn't there any way to just look at the fucking map? But I guess unless I'm playing multiplayer as like a regular thing, it's not as big a deal if I'm not great at the game as long as I'm still progressing through the game. I don't know. Point is, race game. I don't remember what my original point was, because I lost that race, then I won that race, and I honestly don't remember what I was originally talking about. I never remember. Especially during racing games, you can pretty much guarantee I'm not going to remember what I was talking about five seconds ago. There's so much going on. There's a lot of pretty colors and lights and everything. It's, it's all confusing. Okay, let's see. That would raise the top speed and acceleration. I just want to see what the max stats would be. Then get the Lancer and see what the max stats would be on that. Because I think it's time... ...to possibly move to a different car. Maybe have both cars? Because I could use this one in races that... I could use this car potentially in races that... ...have maximum cop thing, whatever it's called, just because, uh, the cops are gonna get on me, and then I don't have to worry about them if I'm in this car. So that's 25,000 just to get that one upgrade? Jesus fucking Christ, why? <laughs> um, oh, that's 25,000 for that. Um, it's, oh, it's 32,000 to get that up. One just for transmission and that was like that was uh whatever the top one was it top speed acceleration handling handling was still at three um top speed was at like three and a quarter and then handling was at or acceleration was at three and a half so not great see that already has good stats, depending on what upgrades is missing, it could be fucking amazing. Plus, it's a freaking Mitsubishi Lancer. It's like, there's two cars, in video games at least, that I always drive. Three cars. One is Lamborghini, any kind of Lamborghini, doesn't matter. Uh, but that's, that's more like... You know, I sometimes do that. Real, really depends on the game and everything. Most of the time, in almost every game, it's either Subaru WRX or Impreza WRX, depending on how old the car is, how old the game is, and all that. Or Mitsubishi Lancer. Because they're essentially like the... They're essentially like two, like, rally cars, so... I, I, they're just usually great at handling, and I'm way better with them. Uh, so pro, don't have anything for engine, or can it not go above, not go below pro? That'd be weird. Super pro, I mean, it already the handling's already comparable. Like no matter what, the handling is already great. Um. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the stuff, it's just, it can't go below this point. Like, it's already at pro. Like, with that, 44.5, 
which is just a little bit more than what it was for the other thing, it's already... The stats would already be comparable to what the maximum stats are on the other car. If I can upgrade anything else, it might be better. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. No. So, really... Honestly, it doesn't matter, but at this point, I think I'm going to get better upgrades for this. Because you look like... That one's from Ronnie. I don't... I don't know... See, the thing is, I don't know if it's just... Do different cars have different unlock points? Like, maybe this is, like, a later car, so its upgrades will unlock later. If you know what I mean. Like, y like... I might unlock the ultimate upgrade for the other car at Blacklist Racer 5, this one's Blacklist Racer 3, but the ultimate upgrade helps this car way more than it helps the other. That might be how that works, and that might be why it kind of makes sense to use a, uh, yeah, I, I know what I mean. <laughs> so we got the Junkman Brakes, which, uh help a little not much and the junkman turbo which again helps a little not much it i don't know i think the performance markers really don't help as much as they could i feel like they're not as useful as it initially seems like they would be so anyway smash into a wall I I'm gonna end the episode but I also didn't look at any of the blacklist stuff I didn't look at what uh Jules also what was her bio I didn't read her bio the sweet thing goes by the name of Jules she's all about big block and muscle she's got a lot of mileage under her wheels so don't be tempted to do anything stupid she's got some serious power under the hood is it just me, or is that, like, the most generic, like, description ever? There's nothing about her personality in in that description. I feel like... I feel like every single other character, even the mechanic girl... What the fuck was her name? Uh... Izzy. Has way more personality in her bio. Like, talking about how she comes from a long line of race fanatics and stuff. Hers is just like, yeah, she likes muscle cars. Great. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for telling me. What, what else is there to know? Pretty much nothing else. Alright. Cool. Two police spike strip roadblocks and evade the pursuit. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Ooh. Uh, infractions. That shouldn't be dard. That shouldn't be hard. That might not be that difficult. Pursuit time shouldn't be too difficult either. Uh, what about races? What kind of races does she have? Two lap knockouts. All right. Two speed traps. All right. Two toll booths and a sprint. That is like, that is amazing because the lap knockouts are fun. Sometimes they're difficult, but they're just exciting. Uh, the speed traps, I'm pretty good at the toll booths I'm good at and I definitely pers 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 prefer a sprint race to a circuit race although I think that's the exact no no it's not I at first I looked at it and I'm like is that the exact same race that I just did against the other dude it's it's absolutely not it's nowhere near it it goes through some of the same areas but it's ab absolutely not the exact same race <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's what we got look, looked up, uh, bah. I'm gonna end this episode just because I can't talk. That's what we got to look forward to next episode, is what I was gonna try to say, and still almost didn't get it out. So for now, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.